If you guys remember, earlier today for me, a couple days ago for you, we started an unboxing of stuff that Jared sent me. I've picked out three more knives from that box to take a look at. I haven't seen any of these knives. Let's turn this around and start taking a look at them from above. Like I said in the intro, this is part three. We've got three knives pulled out here from the box of stuff that Jared sent me that I just opened today. This is the second video of this you've seen. So we're gonna start with what I always love, a Finch knife. Now we're starting with the Finch because, well, I know Finch knives, I like Finch knives. We're gonna see what's in this box. Finch knife, ooh, I like the look of that already. What's it say on the box? This is the reciprocity. I've been wanting to see one of these. Let's get this box out of that. Finch always does a good job with their boxes. That's what I wanted to see. That is a very good looking Warren Cliff blade, 154 cm. Like all of the Finches, it's ground nice and thin. Wood handles look, looks like steel. If I got a magnet, let's get a magnet out. Let's see. It is a steel liner lock. Well, more like a bolster lock, to tell you the truth. Nice pocket clip on this. Guarantee that this glows in the dark. We will see that in the full video. Finch knives, another really good knife. I don't know what slip joint this would relate to or if this is just a new design from them, but Finch is famous for making knives that are basically slip joints that they translate into flippers and they do a really good job of it. Their work on these are so good. So, so good. That is, that is just, an, it is impressive how clean that marriage point is on that to go from that satin into the wood. And then, like I said, the Finch shield, love the blade on this. That feels really good in hand. Finch knife, I have not had a Finch knife that I didn't like. Can I reverse flick? I can reverse flick off that little nail nick in this. How good is that? So, feels like it's running on bearings. Guarantee it's running on bearings. The other Finches I've seen have run on bearings. Yep, running on a small set of caged bearings in there. I love a good Warren Cliff. We're gonna get this in pocket soon. I'm sure I'm going to love this. The reason we started with the Finch is I have never seen a knife from Katsu or the other company, so I thought I would hedge my bet with a knife I knew I was going to like first up. So let's take a look at what's in here. That's heavy. Uh, looks like a belt sheath. Is this a fixed blade or is this? No. What is this? What is? It's a nice piece of leather. We'll look at that in a minute. It doesn't look like it's ever been out of the Thing. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay. Wow. So this is a ZDP-189 blade. This feels like... This absolutely feels like a... Um, what am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Sorry, I was so excited. Rockstead. This feels like a Rockstead. It is ground like a Rockstead. That is insanely good. Holy cow. Let's see what this says. This is Katsu um, Rockwell Hardness. I don't know what that number means. That says HV899. I don't know what that is. So um, this is the Katsu... I don't see it marked anywhere on here. I don't know what knife this is, but this is Katsu Knives. I'm digging this. I'm excited about this. This is like a Rockstead I could use. It feels really good. Are these steel handles? I don't know. It's like a, no, it's titanium. It's like a, it feels like a very, very good take on a, like more, maybe more of a budget Rockstead. The action on it is so, so smooth. Oh, I'm digging this. Is there anything marked on this that tells me anything other than the steel? Um, I don't know, guys. I will put the name. Like I said, you'll see the name at the bottom uh, as we crack into this. Um, but, yeah, I'm digging. That is such a good. It is a full convex grind, uh, which is one of the things that the Rocksteads are famous for, which make them incredible slicers. This is probably going in my pocket today. Let's go ahead and not spend any more time on this one. Oh, we didn't look at this yet. So it, uh, it comes with a uh, a leather belt sheath. 
that you can wear and it's never even been removed from that so i'm probably not going to pop the cherry on that for jared so let's pull up the next knife all right orion knives you got a tough act to follow because that katsu really impressed me this is the orion knives thank you it doesn't say anything there i see we've got pocket clip and some oh is uh, some burl wood scales i'm gonna not mess with those too much oh hello what is this this is a katsu uh, i'm sorry not the katsu this is the orion knives is it marked on here yes there we go the cetus uh usa design based and manufactured and based manufactured in china so it's a american company just having their stuff made offshore not an uncommon thing these days um this is definitely interesting Ooh, 154 cm grind on that is really good this is very comfortable what it's a very unique feel in hand but definitely like that's going to be a cutting beast because it's going to stay addressed to the cut it's got that nice drop down this is a snap cut like if you're looking for tactical thing like one of the things that you look at when you're using a knife for self-defense is your ability to snap cut this definitely has got some snap cut capabilities 154 cm one of my favorite steels it's a little thicker behind the edge than most of the knives we've seen out of this box of stuff so far. Um, nice liner lock, G10 overlays. That, that that Katsu got me so excited, like I'm having a hard time thinking. Um, nice access to the lock bar. Flipper action's pretty good. Can I reverse flick off the aperture? Off the aperture, yes. And if you've got big hands like me, off of the fuller where you don't have to readdress your hand positioning. So if I've got the knife like this, perfect perfect action on that i don't have to even reach up into that because as you see comfortable awkward and i have to reposition very very good looking knife i like the overlays on this Ooh, backspacer is attractive is there a spot for a lanyard i do like adding the spot for you guys to have a lanyard i wish they'd done this in this backspacer i will say it's a little heavy Good action on that, though. So there's the last of the knives, guys. Go check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's an ad. We're going to flip this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout or or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support there this channel. Guys, that was three more of those knives. I am telling you right now, I absolutely am in love with this katsu. I don't know the model or anything, but it definitely, definitely is very Rockstead esque. I'm pretty impressed with it. So um, <clears throat> we're going to get through all these knives. I'm going to break it up so you guys aren't just stuck watching day after day of unboxing and first impressions, but we'll add other content in, mainly being that I've got this in my pocket now, which means that I have to form, film a first day in pocket on this knife probably tomorrow morning. So guys, that's it on this one. If you liked the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Tell me why. Can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, there's a bunch of ways down below. I threw a coffee brand coffee ad in. I'm working on an ad for Tempered Trail, who are my other channel sponsor. Both of them, you can save 5% on their products by using either my coupon code crazy sharp, all one word, or for the coffee brand coffee link down below. I get a little bit of it. It supports the channel. It's products that are absolutely things that I guarantee you're going to like. I also have got a coupon code at farmforge.com and Rosecraft Blades. So either one of those, you can also use that coupon code of Crazy Sharp to save 5% there. I have an Amazon store down below. Use it, take it, pin it to your browser. Buy anything you're gonna buy from Amazon. Make Jeff Bezos pay me a little bit of money. Supports the channel. You don't pay any extra. You don't even have to put on pants. And I have got a membership, which is my preferred method of you guys supporting the channel because I can offer you a benefit. 
It's tier-based. Everyone gets to hang out and goof off in the Gilded server. Everyone that's a member. Everyone that's a member gets access to exclusive content that I'm working on doing more of. Baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways where I give away quality items to those folks on the Gilded server. I post those videos up as member videos to them. And the premium guys have got access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video, which is probably going to be first day on this.